I'm 21 years of age. I have been a student at Indiana University. I've graduated Indiana. I come to Los Angeles to work for Tom Bradley, the late great mayor of this city. At the age of 21, because I was on the debate team and the speech team at Indiana University, this public speaking thing, I'm pretty good at. PBS is way off, NPR is way off, but I got this public speaking thing down relatively well. And so one of the things that the mayor would often ask me to do, particularly because all his other aides who've been there for a long time got sick of doing this. They wanted to go home at night to their family, to their kids, to whatever else they had going on. I'm the young kid, the new kid on the block, and have been on the debate team again in college. So whenever the mayor couldn't go to a particular event to present a letter of welcome or a proclamation, guess who he'd ask to do it? You got it, Tavis. And so I was always excited and anxious in that early part of my career to, to fill in. What 21-year-old what black kid wouldn't love the chance to fill in for the mayor at all these major ceremonies around town. It was just me, I didn't have a family or kids. It was just me, I had nothing better to do. It was good practice, I got to meet people. So I love standing in for Tom Bradley. One day the mayor comes to me and says, Thomas, I'm gonna be out of town this Thursday, but I need you to do me a favor. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor, what is that? Maya Angelo is coming to town. And I want you to go present a letter of welcome or proclamation to her on the occasion of this event Thursday night here in Los Angeles. I was cool on the outside, but I was tickled to death on the inside. Why? Because as a student at Indiana University, I had studied my Angelo. I knew her work. I knew her massive contributions. I was so anxious to meet my Angelo. The first two poems that I ever memorized, the first was by my Angelo. I loved it then, and I still love it now. Still I Rise, Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. The second poem I learned was from my first black woman to win the Pulitzer for poetry. Gwendolyn Brooks had a wonderful poem called We Be Cool, We Be Cool. So We Be Cool and Still I Rise, the first two poems I memorized. So here's my chance now to go meet Dr. Maya Angelou. I go meet her, do what the mayor has asked me to do. The meeting lasts less than five minutes. But in that five minutes, Maya looks me dead in my eye. And her presence and the power in her presence is so palpable, when I walked out of that room, I could have just levitated. Something happened in that less than five minute space. And if you ever saw Maya, as a matter of fact, the last time I saw her give a lecture was right here on this campus at Bovard Auditorium. That's the last lecture I saw her deliver just steps away from where we are right now. And whenever you saw Maya, it was never a performance. It wasn't just a lecture. It wasn't a speech. What I, it's what I call the Maya Angelou experience. Seeing Maya was an experience. She would sing, and she might dance a little step for you, and she would do her poetry, and she'd, and she'd challenge you to reexamine the assumptions you hold. She'd help you expand your inventory of ideas. She'd introduce you to other fellow citizens that you need to consider on your journey for all the contributions that we make in this country. She always was about respecting and reveling in the humanity of all fellow citizens, respecting and reveling in the humanity of all fellow citizens. Maya said to me all the time, Tavis, her nickname for me was Young Tavis, Young Tavis, Young Tavis, I am human, and because I am human, nothing human is alien to me. Say that one more again, y'all missed that. I am human, and because I am human, nothing human is alien to me. I come to learn these words from Maya down the road, but on this occasion, it's my first time meeting her to present this proclamation, to present this letter of welcome. And in that moment, something magical and mystical and spiritual happened. And I said to myself that day, I said to myself, self, at some point, we got to find our way back into Maya's world. I, I had to get to know this woman a little better. I wanted to see her and spend some time with her. That was on my bucket list. Didn't even know the phrase at the time, but it was on my bucket list of things to do before I died. 